Hi there, and welcome back to the Whistle Pig Workshop. We're doing a little bit of R&D work in the shop today. Thought we might share with you a common technique that we use in a lot of our planes, which is cracking the wing to put the dihedral angle, or polyhedral angle, depending on how many of these you do, um, into your wing. Um, it's not very hard, but it is, takes a little bit of, of a delicate touch sometimes, and so we thought we'd actually show you it done. We put lots of pictures in our instructions, but we, we thought if you actually saw it being done, you, you might be more confident in trying it for the very first time. So we've got a wing here. Um, we've already done one side of these, just so you can see what what the angle is all about. We're trying to get this wing tip to bend up at a certain angle. We've got um, a gauge, which when we put it underneath the wing, will allow us to set that angle to the angle that we like. And we'll put this flat on the table and it holds it up at the desired angle. There's other ways to do that, of course. You can if you, you can calculate the angle that you want and measure it, and, you know, it comes out, say it comes out to an inch. If you're going to do that, though, make sure you have a ruler that goes all the way down to the end. This one doesn't. So if you measured an inch, said the plan said go to an inch, and you measured it here, you'd be too tall because this is longer than you need. We're not going to do that here, but that's just a word of warning. So to, to crack this, the important part is that you don't want to break it all the way through. And if you look closely at this, you can see that there's a crack. There are many fibers of the wood that have not broken all the way through, and that's why it's still attached. And those fibers of the wood are what gives it its strength. And we're going to soak it with glue when we're all done, and that will allow those fibers to rejoin. And, and some of these fibers have bent but not broken. So while it may not be 100% as strong as the original, it's, it's plenty strong enough, provided you don't break it all the way off. If you do break it all the way off, then you have to do some additional work to make sure that this becomes a strong joint. Um, generally speaking, that just involves mating the pieces back together so that the little broken parts interlace, soaking that with glue, and you'll have to hold it together with tape um, while that happens. But we try to get it so that it's, it's cracked but not broken all the way through. So to do that, we need to decide where to do it. In this case, we've marked a line which shows us uh, the point that we want to do that. Most of our planes have lines where we, uh, in, to indicate where the dihedral should go. Of course, if you're working on your own design or modifying one of ours, or like the FF12 series that you're doing experiments, you get to pick that line. If you're going to do that, make sure they're even, though. That's very important. Well, if you want to try the experiment, we won't stop you. Um, so we're going to use this line as our indicator, and we're going to lay a nice straight edge across it. So we've got this ruler, and one thing to note is this ruler has a little cork backing on it so that it doesn't slip. Um, we don't want to use this side because that means there'll be a gap and the, the sharp edge won't be lying right along the balsa wood. We want the sharp edge to follow the balsa wood. We'll put it right on that line, just like that. And then we're going to lift underneath with our fingertips. And you want to keep this held down tight because you want that crack to happen right on the edge. And then you just work your fingers underneath, gently and slowly. And there it goes. And so sometimes it'll happen quick like that. But you notice we didn't break it all the way off because we were working away and it went pop. And as soon as it did that, the pressure was relieved. And now we've got a nice, neat line right along where the ruler was. And we can see, again, that we've got this crack, but we haven't broken it all the way through. And then we take our dihedral gauge, we push it underneath there, and make sure that it's not sliding back out again. Sometimes you need to put something there to keep it from slipping. In fact, I think I'm going to have to do that in this case, or just flex this up a little bit more so it's not quite like that. Now, for our beginner planes, we recommend using Elmer's glue to glue this in here. And Elmer's glue is really good for the job because it's it soaks into the wood, and it's a strong it's a strong glue. Um, profession, more professional, I'm not sure if that's the right word. Um, wood glues, like Kite Bond, um, also work extremely well, and they dry pretty quickly. In this particular case, we're going to use um, super glue because our mission requires that the airplane be done more quickly than the... Uh, other kinds of glue would allow. I'm going to hold this in place with my finger so it doesn't slip. So that gives us our desired angle. We 
double check it's all right. In this case, we're going to use thin super glue. And you probably can't see this very well behind my hand. Um, thin super glue is also very good because it soaks in well, but it's messy. And if you do it wrong, you see it goes all over the place. So you want to use a small nozzle like this. The advantage to it, of course, is that it takes very little time for it to dry. And in fact, it's basically dry now. But you can see it soaked right on through to the back side of this. Where it didn't, we're going to apply just a little bit more. About too much more. And when that's all dry, we will um, <clears throat> sand off the rough spots so that we have a nice smooth line. I'm going to do the other side. Just hold that in place with my thumb to keep it square. Keeping the dihedral even means that the airplane flies evenly. So we're going to do a little better with the glue on this side. That that's right. Looks good. And glue pretty much dry. Yeah. You can also see the importance of the wax paper for protecting our, our workbench here. And once again, carefully apply a little bit of this stuff. You can see if you're not familiar with super glues, Take a little bit of practice because you can that stuff's like water it'll spill all over the place and if you're not protecting it you can really make a mess so until you're used to that something like elmer's or tight bond or even a thinner gray or thicker grade of super glue works although it doesn't soak in quite as well anyway cracking the wing is an a really a not too hard way there it could be easier i guess but it's it's a great way to get the wing bent into the shape you want and keep it strong um, you can cut the wing tips off and glue them back together, but it won't be as strong as if you crack them this way, um, unless you take extra precautions and bevel all that stuff. We'll, we'll do another video on, on how to do that if, if the things go wrong, but we thought you'd like to see this one. All right, have a great day and have fun flying. Bye.